here to create a new Africa. We, the children of Africa, we need you as a partner, but we don't need nobody to come to tell us how it's done anymore. That I want it to be clear to everyone coming to invest in Africa. There is a new generation of leaders of Africa that's born. And that time will come, we will change it. So I don't have no plan for three years. No, I have a plan for a lifetime. And I know if I don't finish the work, the young people I'm training through Give One Project, the young people he's training through ABCD, the young people that Tony Elemelu, my good friend, is training in Nigeria, will take on the fight and they will change this country for the better. Where every young African born in this country will have the same decent education that your children has have over there in Amsterdam. I want those young people in my country, in the villages, in Kaolak, in Put, in Kenya, in Burkina Faso, to be able to have the same chance that my children in the United States. I'm not waiting for nobody to come and do it for me or give me a plan of structural plan from the World Bank or from the whatever bank or organizations. We will do it. We don't need it. It's not the World Bank who changed French after the World, after the world War II. They haven't helped the United States or Singapore. Lee Kuan Yew had the gut to say, we will change Singapore from nothing after Malaysia left them. I spoke there with the president just a month ago, and I saw what they have done. I want that in my country, in Senegal. I want that in Mali, in Benin, and etc. And I know if we don't do it, nobody won't do it. So this is my fight. This is bigger than three years. And I know I won't forget it. I won't finish it. But if I don't, the one who will come after me will finish. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Merci, John. Merci, John.